aluminum, a metal which has become the pace setter of the 20th century. Aluminum is light, strong, easily fabricated, and versatile. Today it has greater versatility because many types of finishes are available. Finishes offering new possibilities for tomorrow. Today, only the finish on a window. Tomorrow, perhaps the dramatic answer to an automotive problem. Today, a compact, the shimmering color and texture. Tomorrow may ride the rails. Today, a wear-resisting finish on giftware. And tomorrow, might be the answer for decorative trim. Maybe this finish for the instrument panel and fitting. A soft satin finish like this for my picture frame. We'll use this finish for porch furniture. From today's accomplishments come tomorrow's ideas. There's news in aluminum finishes. Inspiration for tomorrow from the datelines of today. Dateline, New York City. Towering lines of the buildings at Rockefeller Center are admired by visitors from near and far. Slender vertical lines are emphasized by aluminum spandrels finished in a neutral gray tone. The architects specified this shade to achieve the effect desired. How was it possible to meet the architect's ideas on color and texture? There's news in the answer. Pebbles, soap and water. Cascading against castings of aluminum. Friction of stone against metal thousands of tiny impressions creating a dark gray color. A simple mechanical device to obtain the desired tone. An illustration of the possibilities which lie in mechanical finishing methods. Variations of mechanical finishes can be used to produce dozens of different tones and textures. Finishes in themselves or textures and lusters for any overlying finish. Perhaps the most common of all mechanical methods is buffing, polishing, polishing with buffing compounds against a revolving wheel. The smoothness and brightness of a finish depend on the combination of buffing compound and buffing wheel or belt. These finishes range from a high gloss to a soft satin finish. A wire brush provides the familiar scratch brush finish with its various effects. The texture of the surface depends on the fineness and stiffness of the wire in the brush. Sandblasting is a fast and inexpensive method of giving castings a clean, uniform surface. Variations in the kind and coarseness of abrasive give finishes with variety and texture and shade. The tumbling barrel is a practical method of removing burrs and other roughness from small parts. Hard steel shot with a little soap and water lubricant tumbled in the barrel results in a smooth and burnished surface on the product, hundreds of which can be finished in the same economical operation. After one or more tumblings, the product is finished and ready for market. Mechanical finishes are seen in many architectural details. Spandrels, windows, doors, mailboxes, railings, grills. These mechanical finishes are used to obtain the desired tone, texture, and harmony. In almost any American home are examples of several mechanical finishes on aluminum ware hand hammered trays, familiar utensils color buffed. The many different mechanical finishes suggest more combinations and variations. Ideas for tomorrow from the processes we know today.
sidewalks of the nation. Truck drivers are rolling out the barrels and hoisting them with ease today. They're aluminum. Imagine a good-looking beer barrel. But why bother with a finish at all? Purely for its merchandising appeal. It wouldn't pay to spend much money finishing a barrel. So they found the answer, a chemical treatment. Like the mechanical finishes, this chemical treatment changes only the appearance of the surface, not its durability. It is an acid dip. Followed by water rinsing, this chemical treatment prepares and cleans the inside ready for the beer and gives the outside an attractive silvery finish. Another widely used chemical treatment is the caustic etch. This produces a frosted finish on stampings, forgings, and castings. On nameplates, the words, graduations, and designs can be engraved on aluminum by another chemical treatment. A chemical solution etches the parts not protected by a stop-off, outlining the design on the surface. A great many products today, such as aircraft gasoline tanks, are finished by one of the group of chemical treatments known as the ALROC processes. By chemical means, an oxide film is applied, which is thicker than the natural film and gives greater protection. In one of the ALROC processes, an alkaline chromate solution is used to oxidize the surface. A second chemical treatment seals the oxide coating. ALROC coatings are used for both protective and decorative purposes. These gasoline tanks are given an ALROC coating to protect them from the corrosive effects of aviation fuel. And on outboard motors, exposed parts get better protection because of the ALROC process. The finish on these motors takes a real beating, subjected to spray, vibration, and constant exposure. The ALROC coating here serves a double purpose. It bonds the paint to the metal and adds to the protection afforded by the paint. Rivets are often given a protective ALROC coating. The ALROC processes, as well as the other chemical treatments, provide economical methods of finishing either for protection or appearance. Methods in use today, which will provide material for tomorrow. Brooklyn, New York. Countless lives are destined to be saved tomorrow by the contents of cases packed here today with the modern miracle drug, penicillin. Penicillin, packed in glass bottles, is protected by aluminum seals and aluminum dust caps. Aluminum with an enamel finish. Aluminum caps and seals with various organic finishes such as lacquers and enamel are familiar to all. They illustrate the virtues of aluminum not only in protecting the contents, but in holding paint. Outstanding developments in organic finishes on aluminum have been made in the packaging field. Aluminum foil and collapsible tubes are attractively decorated by enameling, printing, and lacquering. Here's eye appeal, sales appeal. Aluminum takes and holds paint well. But surface preparation is important. For many articles, a thorough cleaning with a grease solvent is sufficient. For harder usage, a chemical treatment may be used. For instance, the aluminum tank of this truck was sprayed with a dilute solution of phosphoric acid, rinsed and dried. Zinc chromate primer was applied, followed by top coats of enamel. So today, organic finishes are applied to aluminum or any of its alloys, another development which holds promise for tomorrow. Rain and fog. Ceiling, zero. The ground is completely obscured, while somewhere up there, an airliner wings its way home. 
Aboard the liner, passengers are untroubled, for the pilots will guide the airplane safely home with the help of new types of electronic apparatus. The tiny electrical impulses of these devices need an excellent conductor. Today, lightweight aluminum is being used. Aluminum plated with silver to provide the low electrical resistance needed in the contacts. Electroplating of aluminum has arrived. Yes, aluminum can be successfully electroplated. The secret is in the surface preparation. Special treatment is required for aluminum. In one method of preparation, the aluminum surface is first thoroughly cleaned. It is next rinsed and then immersed in a sodium zincate solution. After this comes another rinsing. Then it is ready for plating in solutions and with techniques much the same as those used for other metals. Primarily, electroplates on aluminum are used for appearance and resistance to wear. Plated aluminum is successfully answering many problems, as in this fabricated handle. It is opening new fields for tomorrow from the findings of today. With the Pacific Fleet, Navy planes by special orders resisted corrosion during long months of service in the Second World War. Taking off on countless patrol and bombing missions amid salt spray in the tropics or in the frozen north, these planes stood the gap. By special Navy orders, the critical parts of every plane were given an anodic finish for added protection and as a base for paint. The anodic treatment forms a hard protective oxide coating on the surface of the aluminum by an electrochemical process. Earlier, we saw that the Alrock treatment made such a coating by chemical means. The electrochemical treatment makes a better and stronger coating. Most practical and durable of the anodic finishes is that known as the alumolite finish. Let's see just how hard it is. Half of this test piece is unfinished. The other half has been treated by the alumolite process. A rotating wheel of abrasive turns equally on both halves. After 3,000 revolutions, the abrasive wheel has left a worn track on the unfinished half, while the alumolite portion shows hardly any wear, thanks to its hard, thick oxide coating. Typical operations in the production of alumolite finishes include a cleaning bath followed by a rinse in water. Next, the articles are anodically oxidized in acid electrolyte for a period from 10 to 30 minutes. The final step is the sealing of the finish so that it won't absorb stains and for increased resistance to corrosion. Big installations of equipment for applying alumolite finish are in use by many industries. This is a production line operation in the finish of aluminum furniture. All over America, products of aluminum with alumolite finish are resisting wear. Furniture and accessories finished by the alumolite process are attractive and durable. Yes, here at last is a metal that's easy to clean. Even those sticky remains come off with ease because of the hardness of the alumolite finish. In the production of alumolite finish, we have seen that at one stage it had to be sealed to keep it from staining. This absorptive characteristic can be an advantage. If before sealing, the coating is dipped in a dye solution, it takes on color just as cloth is dyed. The dye actually becomes part of the coating. In this example, a resist was used on the areas which were not to be colored. These colored aluminum nameplates illustrate a practical use of the alumolite process. Alumolite finish in colors offers many possibilities in terms of beauty and in terms of practical use. For instance, colored fittings on airplane hydraulic lines for quick identification 
name plates, and easy to read dials. The dyed alumalite finishes are best for interior uses when brilliant colors are wanted. Alzac reflectors are produced by another anodic treatment closely allied to the alumalite process. 85% reflective efficiency can be attained by an electrolytic treatment. The surface is protected by a transparent anodic coating. A regular cleaning will keep the Alzac finish bright. The oxide film of the alumalite finish, similarly, will retain its beauty with only an occasional wiping. Your ice cube trays illustrate a combination of finishes. They are first given a frosted surface by caustic dip, then finished by the alumalite process. And this permanent license plate is a combination of enamel and alumalite finishes. A striking example of the beauty of the alumalite finish is this escalator housing. The pleasing tones and textures were produced by a combination of mechanical and alumalite finishes. Many variations of tone and texture are possible through the use of mechanical or chemical methods, followed by alumalite finish. Accomplishments of today, ideas for tomorrow. Dateline, tomorrow. From today's finish that stands the weather, tomorrow's lawn and garden furniture. Today, the satin finish of a tea set. Tomorrow, the impressive lobby of a building. Today, silver-plated aluminum radio equipment. Tomorrow, plated aluminum hardware. Today, aluminum foil to protect cigarettes. Tomorrow, an evening wrap of aluminum cloth. Aluminum, finishes that make it more beautiful. And more useful. Finishes for protection. Finishes for decoration. From the accomplishments of today will come new products, new uses. News for the datelines of tomorrow. <laughs>